Hi everybody, my name is Mahala Watts and I'm the ILCOR member at EKU's Division of Natural Areas and today I'm at Maywood's Environmental and Educational Laboratory which is one of the three natural areas that EKU protects and today I'm going to be hiking around and looking at different trees and their leaf characteristics. So let's get started. <music> When looking at characteristics of leaves, you first need to determine if it has needles, scale-like, or has broad leaves. This pine has needles. Needles can be one and a half to 18 inches long and can be bound singly or in bundles of two to five needles or a bunch of needles in a tuft. This pine has a bundle of two needles. Okay, now we're going to be looking at characteristics of broad leaves. An important characteristic to know is if the leaves are arranged opposite, alternate, or whirled on the stem. This maple is opposite. If you look at where the arrow is pointing, you'll see that the leaves are attached across from each other at the node, and that is what we call opposite. Here we have an eastern redbud, and its leaves are arranged alternately on the stem. The arrows are pointing to where the leaves are attached at the nodes. You can see only one leaf is attached and they are alternating in an ascending spiral. So let's keep exploring and see what else we can find. Next you wanna look at if the leaf is simple or compound. Simple leaves are just one single leaf blade attached to the stem, and this tulip poplar is a great example of that. Here I found a black locust, which is a good example of a compound leaf. Compound leaves have a bunch of different leaflets. One thing to look for when deciding if it is a simple or compound leaf is to look for the leaf bud. All leaves have a bud at its base. There aren't any buds at the base of leaflets. The arrow is pointing to the bud of this leaf. Now let's take a look at some examples of leaf margins. The margin of a leaf is its edge. Let's take another look at the red bud. This margin would be considered smooth. Another common leaf margin would be serrated or toothed. If you'll look to where the arrow is pointing, you'll see that the sweet gum leaf has serrated margins. It isn't smooth like the red bud. It looks similar to a saw blade. This leaf has another margin characteristic. It is also lobed. Lobed is when the margins are deeply indented. This leaf has five lobes. Here's another example of a leaf that is lobed. Except the margin is smooth, unlike the sweet gum that was serrated. This was just an introduction to leaf characteristics. There are so, so, so many more. I hope this video got you interested in thinking about all the differences in leaves. I challenge you to do more research on leaf characteristics and get outside and explore and see for yourself. Thanks for watching.